Thank you for calling Antonio's Pizza. And our associate You're will welcome. be with you in just a moment. Please All right. visit our website, Antonio's-Pizza.com. Why is this for a moped jet? Because I'm on a moped, I want a jet, and that's it. I'm Antonio's on my phone, it's please hold. Okay. Damn. You can put me on hold, bro. I'm on record, dude. I'm on camera. That would be no. I need y'all to operate. I'm ready. Y'all should be ready, too. Come on. I'm trying to order my dinner so I can time this episode right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to show y'all how to be efficient in life. This is why I chose to do this on camera. This is a lesson for all of you. You guys need to learn efficiency. Right when I end this this podcast, I'm going to go pick up Neo like a team. Sorry, I don't want to blow your eardrums out. This episode is sponsored by Antonio's Pizza. Um, I'm also trying to make podcast history. I believe that no one has ever had the ball sack to do this. And my ball sack is made out of brass, clearly. So, not only am I going to order on your ass, you're going to know like my taste buds. You guys are about to find it. actually a pretty intimate detail about someone. Because everyone knows, like, a person likes pizza, but no one really knows how a person likes pizza until you marry them or really get to know them. Because I'm about to order my pizza, you know what I'm saying? People are cool with any pizza, and it's usually the standard cheese, sausage, pepperoni. That's at work, a function, you know, a party. You don't want to, like, switch it up and offend anyone's taste buds. But when it's just you by yourself, or you and your family, that's your pizza. And you're about to find out what my you're about to find out what my taste buds are masked out like. It's a long hole. I guess I'm not as VIP as I thought. Actually, there's one Antonio's that I live near that I used to order so much from that when I stopped for like a month and then did it again, they honestly thought I died, and they were going to send a drive over. That's not even a joke. That's just, that's just my life. That's just me at 21, eating way too much pizza. But Antonio's has never let me down. Doxing myself further. But I, at this point, you know, at this point, someone dox, putting in the effort to dox me would actually, would actually be cool. <laughs> it means someone out there cares so much, not only to listen, but to find me. And I appreciate that guy. Don't shoot me. But if, if you want to show up, Jesus, dude, this bit was supposed to be quick and easy. This is going to be the whole episode at this point. I got other things I want to talk about. I'll put that, I'll put that on quiet until it'll just be settled silently in the background until I hear a hello. Then you'll hear about my pizza. What's up, y'all? I just got done doing special training at my job. I put that away from the, I actually closed the microphone. Um where I learned about chemicals and such. And then, long story short, they gave me a graduation certificate, and not only that, they gave me a card. I'm not gonna show the front of this card because you guys don't deserve to see this card because you guys are not certified. But do the class and get on my level and then maybe you'll know what's on the other side. But look how big this card is, right? The only thing that can fit, like, how is, let's see my thick wallet. That's it sticking in a wallet. Oh, you, you, can't, you can't really, well, I guess I'll show you a little bit. That's, it's obtuse, pretty much. It's obtuse. And that went better in my head. You know, I'm coming to find, like, some of my bits don't work. Like, the better on paper. Which is fine. That's a part of the journey. My last open mic, I would give a 5.5 out of 10. I don't know if I talk... I don't think I had a podcast since my open mic. I think I had it before. I have another one tomorrow. Um, before I go on vacation. Which is something I'll get into later. Um, but, uh... Yeah. It sometimes don't go the way you want. And all the comics out there should know what I'm talking about. Not that they don't go the way they want, but the way you feel like they should. I guess things are just more funny to you than the people. And that's such a weird thing. Because it's like you wrote it the same way and thought of it the same way as the thing that they thought was funny. So why don't they think this is funny? Why are you not always on my level? You know, and also, 
keep your shitty laughs, you know? I'd rather you not laugh than go, <laughs> like, just give me one that you had to, like, push out of your stomach. Keep that in there, bro. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that, you know? I have this one bit I'm working on that was based on a true story. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to order a pizza for carryout. Yep. Is this a Wednesday special too? Today? Yep. Okay, cool. So, I, can I get mushroom, bacon, sausage, uh, and onion pizza, please? Alright, anything else? Uh, can I have that with light sauce? Alright. And large? I don't know if I said that. Alright, anything else? That would be it. Thank you so much. Bye. And that's my pizza. I didn't go too crazy on y'all. But if I was younger, I would. But I'm trying to watch my arteries. Actually, you know what? I run five days a week just so I can eat any way I want. But I'm not pushing it either. You know, I know I got a lot of life to live. And I feel damaged from the little life that I already have. So I'm trying to, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I am got to eat this whole pizza to myself. And you know, I'm going to give you an industry secret because what y'all don't know about me is one of my first jobs was, uh, not first, but I've worked in the pizza industry. I've worked for two pizza industries and I'm, I do Uber Eats for extra money because I have student debt. <laughs> so when they say it's 20 to 30 minutes, uh, they're doing that so you don't get mad. Really, a pizza only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to make. Maybe 20 if it's busy, but I tell you 20, 20 to 30 or even 30 to 35 just to cover. They give themselves like 10 or 5 minutes of padding. So you walk in hopefully at the 30 minutes because they expect like, well, I'll just wait 30 minutes. So the pizza is for sure done. Meanwhile, you're not. It's already been done for like 10 minutes, which is cool if you don't want your pizza piping hot and cheesy flowing. But I like my pizza piping hot and cheesy flowing. So... I know the industry secret, and I know that I gotta actually be there in 20 minutes, which is perfect because it's already been eight minutes of this podcast. I time my life efficiently. I get shit done, dude. I, I'm out here getting shit done. Now, back to my story before that kicked in. Uh, my real life story that I'm trying to work out the. And I did it last time at the open mic, and this was probably the best response that I got uh, out of all the bits I did was from this bit. Um, but. I was at the gas station, and some woman rolls up to me with two old dudes in the back. And she's just like, sir, could you please help me? And I'm like, Gen Z and your phones. And drives off. I'm not a phone. I, I'm not Gen Z, but I'll take the compliment. And see, that's what, I'm trying to work that story into a bit, pretty much. Uh, the other comic said that it's funny, it's a funny premise, but I shouldn't embellish, because I kind of told it kind of how I said it here, but not exactly. There's a, I definitely did not go back. I definitely didn't stutter as much. Um, I got the most laughs from it, but I told it quite a literal, so I still had some anger from it, because it just happened. It didn't just happen, but it happened maybe like a week and a half from that open mic, so it was still fresh in my mind. So now I'm trying to, I'm in the process of trying to make it into a joke. Uh, and that's where my life is at. Where's your life? I followed it up with some other shit about how I'm not a hero. It's actually a pretty well... I have one set that I'm now... I got that tucked away. I'm like, okay, that's a set I'll do like when people don't know if I'm new to the area. That's a pretty locked down set. I've done it a few times, and it's gotten last every time, and it killed up the wakery, so I'm like, all right, time to write a new set and get that to be at that level. And this whole set starts off with that joke and leads into me like, I'm not a hero, and I, that, the moment I knew I wasn't a hero, when some guy expected me to save him when I was just a bus boy because he was choking, well, the whole restaurant expected me to do something. Uh, you now I'm just a bus boy, and that leads into the time I, you know, I'm not going to give you the whole set because you got to come see me. You got to come and see me do my shit if you want to know what the fuck I'm doing, actually. 
but yeah, it's 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 well worked. I just have to actually practice it and get all the beats down, make people laugh, and maybe sub out some jokes, enhance some jokes, yada yada yada. But basically, my strategy, I got one set that I can do, and I think it's like a five to eight minute set, depending on how I do it. If I take my time, it's like an eight minute. If it's a, if I'm quick with it, it's five six minutes. So I can take that to any open mic, and I want to get two more like that, so three sets, and then I feel like I'll be strong enough to be able to go around the cities while I write other jokes. Because I don't want to just go to other cities and just keep doing the one set that I have and people will figure me out pretty quick. So I want to have three, maybe even on the better side, four to five. Uh, just so I can just have these in the pocket that I know roll off the tongue. And if I have to, I can just combine them and make them a longer set and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really... Uh, taking it, ramping it up, getting serious. I just, I'm mastering my album right now. It sounded really good and I'm getting serious. There are some stuff that, um, it's definitely going to take longer than I wanted because I want it to be a really good, uh, I want it to sound fine tuned, even though I'm doing it in a closet. I want it to sound like it was in a studio. Um, because this is another thing with this album. I'm going to take that seriously and start doing open mics, the music ones. And I don't know if I'll be running around trying to perform as much, but I'm definitely going to run around uh, and perform where it matters. Like look up contests or things like that, uh, scouting events. Uh, and just try to actually, you know, just do the, the the old thing and just try to spam my CD, the labels and stuff, even though I don't know how that'll work. And also the internet. So yeah, I'm just getting serious. I'm just getting serious. Um, And it's feeling, it's feeling really, it's feeling great. Um, I'm in a great point in my life, to be honest. Work's going great. Um, relationships going great. Family's going great. Even though it's my sister's birthday as I'm recording this, and I feel kind of bad because she has a dinner that I didn't know about, though. Mom. I didn't know about that she's having a dinner. And I feel like a dick because I just ordered a pizza. But it's just like... If I knew about the dinner, I'd feel like going to the dinner. I found out over text today. My mom was like, oh, by the way, we're going to this restaurant. If you want to come, show up. And I'm like, I'm, I already was mentally locked in on watching reality TV and eating pizza with my girlfriend. And as I explained myself more, I sound more like a dick. And I really made the mic spike, so that's going to be lovely to hear back. That's for you guys to deal with, not me, so... This was a fun one. You know, this is just talk and stream of consciousness type shit. I don't even know if I stop. Uh, but yeah. I don't stop. So why would I Why would I even assume I stopped? Uh, I just bought a bunch of snacks. I'm on snack duty for the vacation that I'm about to go on with my friends. My friends hit me up in the DM, which is my cell phone. My digital mobile device. The second day is invisible and they were like they're white so they were like we got a boat and all you gotta do is throw us about two hundred dollars and you can come and bring and you're on snack duty which is like another for about what 11 12 people five of which i don't know so that'll be interesting uh there's four people i know and then Four or five people I don't know. So it's a nice little mix of unknowns. Definitely a cool ratio to get drunk around. So. But yeah, I'm on snack duty. So I just got done getting snacks. They're going to roast on my car. Until I hit on the boat. And I probably would never go on a boating trip. Unless I was friends with white people. I'll just keep it at that. You know. Because black people, we don't gather around for that. If we we're going to go on a trip. We like to go where things are already like. Once we go there, we don't have to do anything. So we would go to, like, a Florida or a Chicago and then go to a club. So once you go in the club, what's there? The drinks are already there. You just got to ask for them and pay for them. The music's already going. You just got to go to the dance floor, which is already there, and dance. People, if you want to meet new people, they're already there, you know? If you want to go to another club or another scene of scenery, just leave the club, leave the scenery, walk the strip. All that's already there. So that's usually the vacations we like to take. 
But my friends hit me up and they're like, yo, just throw us some money. And I'm not cooking, so. I might grill, though. I might grill. Shout out to those cooking. Actually, one of my black friends are cooking, so I'm not the only black person. I probably won't be the only black person on this trip. That's another bit I'm trying to work out. Depends on what happens on the vi- on this vacation. Sorry if my friends listen to my podcast, but I'm sure they don't. Uh, I'm using you guys as bit material, because that's what happens when you're a comic. Everything becomes material, uh, or possible material. So... No, that when I'm looking at you and looking through those comments, you're nothing but a material girl to me. And I'm going to use you. 